Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly love tarot readings. We are going to take a look at the messages coming in for you in relation to love and romance. These messages are general. If you after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here. So once again, these messages are intended for Pisces Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus Rising and those cross-watching as well. We'll give the cards a little shuffle and see what messages are coming in for you here Pisces. We have the Three of Swords here, the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Lover's card. Wow, okay. We've got a lot of air energy here, Pisces. And of course, air energy governs mental energy here. Okay. Okay, with the Three of Swords here, some of you may be severing ties or have severed ties here with someone. It comes in the form of... Um, some sort of painful emotional anguish from what I can see. Now for some of you, I feel like the cards are indicating that there could be a strong, um, there's a strong indication here or it's hinting here um, or suggesting to us that there might be a third party situation. So some of you, I feel like were forced to cut ties because there was an involvement of a third party situation. Some of you, I feel like you may be in a relationship or you may be in a romantic connection where um, maybe you are the third party. Maybe this person here was attached to someone else. They might have been married or committed elsewhere here. They may also be the you know the type of person who uh, may be committed to their job or their career. There's something else here which I feel like is throwing off your balance, um, throwing off the equilibrium of this connection as well. Now for some of you, I feel like this the Three of Swords here is heartbreak here. It often indicates emotional anguish. Some of you, I feel like, are dealing with some, um, some uh, wounds, some past wounds, hurt, resentment here. You're trying to piece together, a, um, from what I'm seeing, a broken heart. Now, for some of you, I feel like this person is still on your mind. You're still quite fixated on what this person has done to you, or you're still quite fixated on their energy. Of course, it could work the same in reverse here. Perhaps for some of you Pisceans, I often feel like you always tend to fall on the receiving end of hurt or pain. Um, I feel like somehow you're, I don't know, somehow you're always caught up in, in, like, in, in the net of pain. Pisces, um, unfortunately. For others of you, and I feel like it's a small handful of you watching this, I feel like maybe you're the one who uh, was the one that inflicted the pain. I don't see any malicious intent or any malicious motivation in the cards. I feel like maybe you hurt this person unintentionally or even unknowingly here as well. I don't feel like you went in there, you know, with the intention to hurt anybody or anything here, Pisces. But I am seeing that there is still, there's a mental core that connects you and this individual together. So for some of you, I feel like you, st you still find yourself thinking about this person. Um, for a lot of you, I do feel like I'm seeing that the energy is attached to someone else. So I feel like they've done wrong by you. The, the Five of Swords here in particular is a strong indication here of um, you dealing with the wrong person. This person wasn't for you. And let me tell you, Pisces, I don't feel like this person is for you. The lover's card, I know it's, um, you know, the most romantic um, tarot card out of the deck. But in combination with these cards here, I feel like this was love. It wasn't, it, sorry, this was lust. It wasn't love. I feel like it was a deep sense of infatuation that sort of consumed the two of you. I don't feel like, I mean, there was a strong romantic energy, but I'm not seeing that this was um, love. I feel like or for whatever reason, I feel like it didn't work out because something to do with the timing. I don't feel like this relationship or this connection here um, had wings, so to speak, here. Now, for some of you, I feel like it's just important to, it's important for you to let go and walk away here, especially with the Four of Swords. I'm also seeing that there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. Now, with the Four of Swords, the soldier here that rests in the card, um... My assumption here is that he's been wounded in battle and he needs to 
um, withdraw, in order to recuperate, in order to rest up, in order to heal. And I feel like this is what needs to happen for a lot of you fishes out there. Um, someone here has broken your heart and probably has shattered it into a, a, you know, a thousand or a million tiny little, little pieces. You will be able to put it back together again. You will be able to love here. Um, I feel like it's a case of this person here. I feel like... Um, you know they've hurt you here but i don't feel like this person was your person to be honest with you i feel like they belong to a chapter in your life i don't see i feel like there may be an opportunity in the future perhaps to reconnect here and hopefully um for some of you maybe there is a reconciliation here but for others of you i feel like the the, the strongest message that i'm getting here is there's a need for you to heal there's a need for you to heal a hurt a past um, a wound, uh, a resentment here, um, there's a need for you to hurt, um, to heal a hurt or, or a situation here, to bring, to bring peace to some sort of conflict here, because I feel like the conflict still resides within you, whether you care to admit it, to admit to it or not, he Pisces, you're still torn, even though this person might have hurt you, I feel like there's a part of you deep down, down inside that if they were to re-enter your life, I feel like you would give them another chance. Because of all of this air energy in your um, spread here, um, I feel like a lot of you need to spend some time nurturing and healing your heart here as well as your spirit as well and i'm also seeing that there needs to be a mental shift a mental shift in a new direction here in order for you to heal in order for you to grow in order for you to move on and you know um find love here um give yourself time that's what i'm getting for you pisces give yourself time and even if you are not over this person which i can still for a lot of you um i can see for a lot of you you know this person hasn't necessarily um, left your life. I feel like the energy still somehow is around you. You can still feel them Pisces. You're quite intuitive here Give yourself time to to heal to process what's happening here um, And know that you know love will thrive again know that you will find inspiration and you will find it soon here Pisces So even for those of you, you know if you're not over the heartbreak if you're not over the hurt if you're not over how this person has hurt you you're entitled to those feelings you're entitled to feel that emotional disappointment that emotional anguish you're entitled to i don't know maybe you're the one here who's giving them the silent treatment maybe you're the one who's not responsive maybe you're the one that's pulled your energy away and if that's the case if that's the case sorry you are entitled to feel how you feel and you're entitled to act how you act but um above it all i feel like pisces um it's important for you to purge those emotions, okay? That's what I'm getting. It's important for you to purge those emotions. Um, however, that helps you, whether drumming, writing, dancing, screaming, whatever, um, writing, whatever helps you here. Um, make sure that those feelings move through you here, okay? Make sure that they don't settle in for the long haul. Make sure those feelings are moving through you. Okay, and that is all I have for you guys. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again for your time and attention. Bye for now.